When we compare two values, we use less than or greater than. Our first symbol means less than. The value on the left is worth less than the value on the right. Our other symbol means greater than. The number on the left is worth more than the number on the right. We can think of it as our open end is always going to face the larger value. Let's start by comparing fractions. Here we have 2 fourths compared to 3 fourths. We're going to start with fractions that have a common denominator. This way we're working with all equal size pieces. We can see on our fraction bar that 2 fourths takes up less space than 3 fourths. So this tells us that 2 fourths is less than 3 fourths. In fact, any time we compare fractions with a common denominator, the fraction with the smaller numerator is always going to be less than the fraction with the larger numerator. What if we go the other way though? What if instead of comparing fractions with the same denominator, we look at fractions that have the same numerator? Here we have one half compared to one third. We can see we don't have equal size pieces, but since we have them drawn out in a fraction bar, we can still compare them. Our one piece on our halves bar is larger than our one piece on our thirds bar. This tells us that one half is going to be greater than one third. In fact, anytime we compare fractions with the same numerator, the one that has the larger pieces or the total fewest pieces on the bar is going to be larger than the one that has the smaller pieces or the larger number of pieces on the bar. Not all of our fractions are going to have the same numerator and denominator. Here we want to compare three-fifths to two-thirds. If we look, we can see our shaded parts are very similar in size to each other. That's why it's important that we draw accurate fraction bars so that we can accurately compare them. We can see that three-fifths is slightly smaller than two-thirds, so that tells us that three-fifths is going to be less than two-thirds. What happens though if we have two fractions where one size isn't smaller or larger than the other? Here we have two-sixths compared to one-third. We can see that just as much is shaded in the sixth bar as there is shaded in the thirds bar. So one fraction isn't larger or smaller than the other. This actually tells us that two-sixths and one-third are equivalent fractions. So two-sixths would equal one-third. It makes it nice to have a quick way to visually compare our fractions using fraction bars. But as we pointed out before, drawing them accurately so we get correct size pieces is crucial. <laughs>